On the Greek island of Crete, an airplane waits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful walking around the airplane. Never look away from it. It's a delicate, pampered machine, attended by a team of more than 40 designers, builders, pilots, and helpers. Listen for that rubbing in flight. If you hear any rubbing, we need to know. They have spent three years and nearly a million dollars preparing for a single 72-mile flight across the Aegean Sea. A modest goal, perhaps, except for one thing. The engine is a human being. After months of work, it's time to see if the wing is really as strong as it's supposed to be. Three hundred and fifty pounds of water hang from the spar to simulate the kind of load it must be able to take in flight. No graphite structure has ever been pushed this hard before, and if it fails, the project is in serious trouble. This makes me nervous. Good. Yeah, looks all right. Okay, here we come. That's it. It's beautiful up there. Better than perfect. My balls now goes to 30s. The greater satisfaction now comes from the realization of a dream, a modern mythical creature, half man, half machine, living out the earliest fantasy of flight. <laughs> 